The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. And welcome to our latest installment of PWT May Event. This is Big Polly coming to you. And today we're in Los Angeles for the big match between John Pezik making his first defense in his second reign as PWT World Heavyweight Champ. He's using his Pioneer card now, which is how he got reinstated. Well, well, actually, it, it was a little more technical than that. Uh, Lou Albano interfered on his behalf in a match he lost. He didn't ask Albano to interfere. So the PWT said, okay, if you want to come back, uh, you can't have a manager. And Pezik should be good enough a grappler not to have to use one. He's facing Waldek Zabisco, the man he defeated January 1st using his shooter card. He's now using his pioneer card, making him a little more easier to beat. He beat Zabisco January 1st in the New York circuit and beat him in a rematch, which I think was in Detroit. And they have not met since then because a few days after their rematch, Dick Hutton beat Pezik for the world title. So they are meeting again. Zabisco has stayed a top contender during all of this time. And we'll be back with this match uh, right after this. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. And here are your champions of PWT as things stand on February 21st in the timeline and in real life. I'm recording this February 21st, 2022, 2-21-22. And John Pezik is now your world champ, Tully Blanchard. Again, got disqualified, still kept the title. Uh, Pat Patterson and Ray Stevens defended their title in South Texas against the Briscoes, and all went well with that. So we're off and running for our main event here in Los Angeles. But first, as Julie Chen would say, over on Celebrity Big Brother and Big Brother during the summertime, Here's what happened on the undercard. It was Freddie Blassie easily over Chris Tolos. The time of the fall there was 6.43 on a neckbreaker. Diamond Dallas Page made his PWT debut but lost to Duke Kayamuka. 25.05 karate chop. It was the Guerrero shockingly losing to Buzz and Bart Sawyer. Brett Sawyer, I beg your pardon. 1939, Buzz pinned Hector after a flying splash. Gorgeous George fell quickly to Zandor Zabo. 534 on a wing lock drop. And Big John Studd stunned. Mill Mascaris 508 with an illegal throat chop. And that brings us to our main event of the evening. One fall, 60 minute time limit. Sabisco must score a pin or a submission before anything else happens or before the 60-minute time limit runs out. And Pesic is defending the title, so he gets to use uh, some tactics to keep his title if need be. So we're ready to go from beautiful Los Angeles. We have two more defenses this, this month. We take a day off, and we start our Battle Royale Super Series in March each Circuit will have a battle royal, and they will send their winner to uh, a PWT All-Stars event in Lexington, Kentucky on March 29th. And we'll have that along with our three title matches. And we're dropping our top contenders series of bouts. Everybody will be sent to one of the circuits, and the, the champions will just merely battle whoever the top contender is in uh, the circuits they visit on a rotation just like they used to in the old days so i think we are all set to go let me just double check here okay and off we go one fall 60 minute time limit 
And the last time we saw Vladik Savisko, he beat Christian Cage on a pinfall. And here we go. Pezik should win in, in a title match. And uh, I finished reading the Jack Briscoe bi uh, 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 autobiography today on Kindle. Legal power move by Zabisco. Zabisco loves his power game. And he gets the first move in. Illegal punches by Vladik. Trying to become the second man in PWT history to win the title twice. Outside of John Fesick, who clamped that toe hold on already. But a quick counter by Zabisco, and we're back to square one. Backslide, but it doesn't even get a one count. We move on. Body slam by Zabisco, the bigger and stronger of the two, but that does not work out for Zabisco for a winning uh pinfall situation. He wins by pin. He is the champion. Submission move, but you're not going to get... There was no chance of getting uh, Pezik on a submission there. And Pezik leaving the ring, which is actually upping his stamina. Zabisco hasn't had a hold clamped on him yet. A legal forearm countered, and Zabisco comes right back. It was Pezik that landed the forearm that was actually countered didn't land and clothesline by Sabisco. This has a very slight chance and he got to two, uh, but he had a one in 40 chance of getting the three, a running power slam that does not get it done. And Fezzik is trailing by 44 points and we're already six minutes into the bout. A legal leg drop. And that's the first move of many that Fezzik has landed in the bout and a legal throw to follow up. Doesn't get the pinball there, and we move on. A leg drop by Pezik. Headlock by Pezik. If Pezik is successful winning the championship tonight, he faces Stanislaus Sabisco for the first time. I believe it's for the first time. Series of body punches by Pezik, followed up by a body slam. No pin. And Vladik has already scored three pin attempts in the bout to Pezik's one. Headlock by Zabisco, followed up by illegal punches. No action, no action, and some more no action as we cross the 10 minute mark. Then Pezik lands a kick. Stomping Zabisco on the back. Double wrist lock countered by Vladek. Legal whip to the ropes. That does not get the pin. The chances of it scoring the pin there was infinitesimal, I guess you could say. No action. Arm hold by Vladek. He's still taking the fight to Pezik. He's of 25 points in terms of damage. Auto control loss. No cuts in the bout yet. Equal up a lot of counters here in a neck hold. Zabisco cranking down on that neck. And remember, Pezik is the smaller man of the two. Pezik would be eligible to win the junior heavyweight championship. And in, PW, in GSW, which was my former Fed, uh, he did exactly that until he won the world title. Rear chin lock by Zabisco, followed up by a body slam. Ka-chunk! And that scores 10 off of the damage for Pezik. Vladek up about 40 points at this point. So Vladek taking the fight to John Pezik. Illegal punches, headlock, illegal choking counter. Now Pezik with it, and he clamps a headlock on. And we're 15 minutes into the 60-minute time limit bout. Punches used by Pezik. And that reduces Vladek down a little bit. Arm hold by Pezik. Pezik's got to put some moves together. Get back in this bout. Neck hold by Pezik. And he's doing exactly that. Illegal eye gouge. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Pezik uh, having his strategy card used and countered. Throat shot by Pezik. So he's putting moves together as we fought. And there is a cut. Cut is on Pezik as Zabisco smashed him in with a chair shot to the face. It drew blood. And a deep cut above his right eye, which is causing blood to pour out. So Pezik, his face turning rapidly into a crimson mask. Body slam by Zabisco. Could this be his night? Uh, rolling reverse. No pin. Crowd in Los Angeles would have erupted had that scored. Neck hold by Pezik. 
Illegal choking countered. Back to Zabisco. Body scissors, but that was countered. Pezik was ready for that. Speed move. Pezik using his fleetness. Nailing Zabisco with a perfectly timed dropkick. Educated feet of John Pezik. Counter by Pezik. By Zabisco. Illegal choking by Zabisco. He wants that title. He wants that title back. He was our first champion. Uh, which we actually, I, I, I wrote down in my Delphi board, Delphi board that we did it on Christmas. No, I did it New Year's Eve of uh, 2021, that card. Uh, had the battle royals to determine the first champions, and Vladek Zabisco outlasted everybody, even Andre the Giant, in that. Um, standing abdominal stretch that cannot score a submission, no way, no how, neither can that. So we play on legal throw, flying mare. Oh, a five on that roll, on that three count roll. One out of forty uh, chance of it being succeeded. So you got to give uh, Zabisco credit for getting it close, but close only counting in horseshoes and hand grenades. And look at this big body slam by Zabisco. Could we have a new champ? No, and he just missed there. That was like a two point nine count. And on we go. Zabisco. Throwing some illegal punches. We're 23-49 into the bout. He's got a 70-point lead. 74-point lead on Pezik, and Pezik is bleeding. Neck hold by Vladik Zabisco. Pin hold countered. Here's Pezik with a legal elbow. No, not going to get the pin there. Zabisco out pin attempting... Pezik now five, uh, six to three, six to four, make that. As Pezik cranks on a neck hold. Illegal choking by Pezik. Illegal punches by Pezik. Nothing happening. And the lead's trimmed down about 77 points. Sabisco tries to get more aggressive. Wants to change his approach. Tried to get more aggressive. Locking in a painful arm hold that keeps Pezik on the mat for a short period of time. So the lead now up to 92 points in terms of damage for Slabisco. We have some lulls in the action here as we close in on the 30-minute mark. Especially max action. Pezik continues to take liberties in his relentless attack on Vladik Slabisco, paying absolutely no mind to the warnings for the referee. Because if he gets disqualified, he still keeps the title. As we have learned uh, doing uh, Tully Blanchard title offenses. Small package. No pin. Had a 3 and 40 chance of getting that three count. So the odds would have been about 7.5% if my map's right. Arm hold by Pezik. Toe hold countered. And Pezik trimming the lead down a little bit. It's now down to 52 points. Body press by Mr. Sabisco. Got to get a one here. Got a nine. And we play on. Seventh pin attempt for Pezik. Pezik is uh, seventh pin attempt for Sabisco. Pezik is now up to six. Headlock by Vladek. He's got to get a little more busier than that if he's going to win this match within the 60 minute time limit. But I imagine even holding him to a draw would be very good. Because the number one contender for each of the three championships gets a bonus title shot. Uh, and we'll, we'll explain how that will work as we go through the March loop. Neck hold by Zabisco. Zabisco surprises his opponent and locks a dangerous sleeper hold on, but it could have been too dangerous because Pezik got out of it. Neck hold by Mr. Zabisco. No action. And some lull in the action here. Neck hold by Zabisco. Zabisco just taking the fight to him. And again... Zabisco ramming uh, Pezik face first into the ring post. And his lead is extended out to 108 points. It's just a matter of can he get Pezik pinned in this last 25 and change in this bout. Legal throw by Zabisco. Power moves. Auto control loss. Zabisco lost his title in the, his first defense to John Pezik, although Pezik was using his shooter card or we were using the Pezik shooter card, but Pezik could lose his title in his first defense the way things are looking. Illegal punches a couple of times by Pezik. 
big body slam. And that was close to a pinfall. Very close. And now he takes the lead in pin attempts, 8 to 7. Side roll. You don't get this at a Chinese restaurant. No pin. Bear hug. That's not going to get it done. Legal throw by Pezik. Could Pezik be binding his second win here? Illegal punches. Face rape. Arm hold by Vladek, who still holds about a 67-point lead. Full Nelson, but Pezik was quick to escape from that. Claw-like hold. Well, I shouldn't have run that. Power move by Pezik, a choke slam. And clothesline. Almost got him there. So it's nine pin attempts to seven. Pezik leading. And you get the sense that he's starting to get with it a little bit. Low blow by Pezik. And Pezik tried to get a Boston cramp, but didn't hold it very long. We play on. Big body slam. Oh, my goodness. Pezik found the ropes just in time. He had about a 5-8 and eight chance of uh, going down for the count there. No pin. No pin. He found the ropes just before the count of three. And we move on. Speed move. Speed and quickness. By Pezik wearing Zabisco down a little bit, but Pezik getting very, very close to the edge a few times now. Zabisco, a lull in the action here as we fastly approach the 45 minute mark. Illegal punches by Zabisco. No action. Legal throw by Pezik. Out of control loss. A ropes move. Flying leg drop by Zabisco. Really keeping the pressure on Pezik here. Neck hold countered back to Pezik for some illegal punches. My math is right. He's down 87 points and he is cut. Pezik is. Backslide. He got him. Whoa! John Pezik got him. It was only a 3 and 40 chance he'd get the three count. He rolled a two. And how about that? John Pezik. Escaping with his life. Getting the pinfall win 47 minutes, and it was a five star match. So Los Angeles racks up 150 points. And they'll have 185 points to expend uh, when we come back to Los Angeles next March 21st, a month from today. So I hope you all enjoyed the match. It was a doozy. John Pezik retaining. Uh, the world title of the PWT, and now he's got to face uh, Brother Stanislaus, and that will be in, let's see, Hawaii. And then he goes to Europe, uh, defends his title there. He'll get, a, he'll get a day off. Everybody else will get a day off. And then his next tour stop will be March 2nd in Toronto, Canada. So this has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless as always. We'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.